Hey, it's Levi back again. I know it's been a long while since I've done a video. I uh, just wanted to let y'all know I was still around. I'm replying to some of these emails I've been getting and piling it up. Um, some of the questions I got is, how do I get started in collecting silver? What do I need to do? How much money should I uh, have to invest in it? Well, the answer to that is, what is it that you want to collect? Do you want to collect one ounce silver? And get it in bar form? Or do you want 90% silver? Which are dimes. Quarters. Which are 90% silver. 50 cent pieces. 90% silver. How much do you want? Do you want 5 ounces? 1 ounce? 100 ounces? Here's some nice ones. You want to buy them because they're pretty? I think these Australian koalas are very, very nice. And I bought these at a very high premium because I thought they were very nice. I thought I'd collect them. Or if one ounce is too expensive for you, you can go buy half ounce. Which come from, for a little bit more of a hefty premium as well, for buying a half ounce. I have a sheet of them. Or do you want to buy gold? That's <laughs> solely up to you. I've been buying these from someone who's collected them and is uh, was running short of cash. So I've gave them what they were asking. and These are grams, so they're a little bit cheaper. And this is, I believe, two and a half grams. If you don't want to buy any of that, you can also buy silverware. This is sterling. This is Norwegian. It is... I think it's 80% silver. But it is Norwegian. And there is a date here. You can read it. It says July 16th, 1927 on it. Uh, for me, folks, I collect it all. So you can start at, at uh, what is silver, at 20-something dollars, 28 dollars an ounce. Uh, dimes can go for two dollars an ounce. I mean two dollars uh, per dime. And uh, quarters, well, you can do the math. And just for fun... My local coin dealer has these for $2.50. And uh, it's copper. One ounce of copper. And I thought it would be uh, pretty neat to show you guys. I thought it was a neat thing. For $2.50. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a good investment in my opinion, but it, it it's it's pretty nice. I thought it looked, it looked pretty nice as a Morgan dollar. Now this is um, a sterling silver lighter case that uh, I picked up from people who needed money. It is sterling. I had my jeweler 
uh, fix it for us. It'll fit a Zippo. Uh, it came from Japan. It was an inherited piece. The uh, person who inherited it uh, was scrapping it. And uh, what I do is I'll take these pieces that that are they're scrapping and try to save them. So this is fixed. It's good as new. All you have to do is get your Zippo lighter to, and put it in. But this is completely 100% sterling. There's a Japanese pagoda. I'm trying to get it to where you can see everything. And it's in perfect condition again. It's been fully restored on the hinges where I had problem. So if anybody is interested in this, shoot me an email. Um, let me know. Send me an offer. And please don't send me an offer of 50 cents because <laughs> I'm not going to do it. And it's pretty good size too. Or text me at 972-693-7126 if you're, anyone's really interested in this. Because I, I, like I said, I'm saving this from being uh, melted down for scrap. There's a lot of history here. Um, it looks like it's from World War II, so hate to see it be melted down. And if you plan on melting it down, I might as well keep it melted down myself. As you see, uh, I still have uh, tons of more coins in here and one ounces. So after a while of collecting, um, it does add up. The only thing that I can suggest to people, if you're thinking about it, don't think about it. Just go and do it. Start buying silver today. You're going to kick yourself in the rear when you see the prices within a year. And you say, I should have bought when it was at $29 an ounce, $30 an ounce. Now look at it. When I started getting into silver, it was $9.75 an ounce. And I was kicking myself because I wish I'd got it in when it was $4.50 an ounce. So please, folks, don't make the same mistake. Your purchasing power of your dollar is going down. Metals are going up. Oil is going to go up. Price of gasoline is going to go up. And the only thing that's not going to go up is our paychecks. But if you, if you take your money, if you take your money and you put it into this precious metals right here, you're sustaining your buying power. You're sustaining your wealth. Now, that's all I got. I'm not. I'm not. I can't tell you. I can't force you to go buy. But that's all. That's all I can tell you is protect your family. This is probably about one of the best ways that you can do to protect your family is is, is this buying silver. God bless, and I'll try to have another video for you guys soon. Alright, peace out.